So shouldn't buy any second hand anything any products second hand you shouldn't buy because yeah one you don't know how it has been used in the past so like how the person has used it and what the condition is you know aesthetically it might just look something that it's it's great and it looks amazing but but once you get it and it doesn't last the battery is dying really fast and um it crashes and anything anything second hand i'm i'm not even, i'm not just talking about phones or i'm talking about cars and bikes and uh, earphones cameras anything that is second hand uh, you shouldn't buy anything second hand so that's one thing <clears throat> the second thing is that the second hand market has become so shitty of late how do you expect that if the mrp the cost of the product is 30000 and the second hand that people are selling for 27000 and 20000 i'm going to show you a few examples right now over here right here I'm, it's on the screen you can see people selling gopro this lady is selling the gopro 11 i'm getting it on amazon for 26000 rupees and this lady is selling it for 27000 rupees how stupid or how ridiculously stupid can you be so the second hand market coming back to this and because of this what happens is i'll tell you uh, when you go to buy a car, a new car, so a new car launch, uh, any car for that matter, let's let's take something that is in the range of 10 to 12 lakh rupees. So a new car, call a Hyundai i20 costs 15 lakh rupees, top end model, okay. A five year old Hyundai i20, 2020 model, people are selling it for 10 and 11 lakh rupees. What sense does that make to me? It does not make any sense at all to me. So this is how things are. Then what happens is when, and, and there are stupid people in the market who are buying those, those cars for that price because the condition is all that great. The, it has been used very little and uh, whatever X, Y, Z reason. For me, what I think, you know, once the car is out of the showroom, once the mobile box is opened, once the camera box is open. Anything. Once you take it out and you start using it, the price becomes half. You know what I think? I think that all of us should get together. Everybody in the world should stop buying uh, secondhand products from now. What sense does it make that if an iPhone 16 is costing 90,000 rupees new and secondhand is costing 80,000 rupees. Why do you want to save 10,000 rupees? Why don't you just go to the iPhone showroom and pay 90? When you can pay 80,000 rupees, you can pay 90,000 rupees and buy a new iPhone. Why would you pay 80,000? This These kind of people who pay 80,000 rupees are the ones who are spoiling the damn market by agreeing to buy it for 80,000 rupees. They're telling other sellers that they can sell it for 80,000 rupees. But does it even make sense? Once you buy it, whether it's two days old or three days old, the price literally should become half. That is what I think. So it should become 45,000 rupees on the second day. What second day? The moment you take it out of the showroom and you open the box, the price is 45,000. Nobody should buy it for a single penny more than 45,000 rupees. 50%, 60%, I say, okay, it's, it's one or two days old. You pay 60% for it. But if it is anything more than a month old, two months old, three months old, you should not pay for, for it. That amount shouldn't be greater than 50% of its value. And if we start following all of that, the entire market, everything is like a chain, okay? The car prices will start falling down because people will start buying secondhand cars at 50% the value. The new car, the... The, the companies will not be able to sell the new cars for 15 lakhs and 20 lakhs or 1 CR or whatever it is. They have to reduce their prices. So the new car prices come down. Eventually, the second-hand prices will also have to drop down because if the new car is costing you 20 lakh rupees, you'll have to sell it for 10 lakh rupees. If everybody follows that principle, the entire market will come in a nice circle. And it will be feasible and good for all of us. And it makes sense. Trust me, it makes sense. When you're buying a second-hand car, or a phone or anything. You don't know what the person is used, but when you're paying 50% of the, the cost, the actual value of the product, then it's fine. You can bear with uh, the battery drain, draining faster. Maybe you can spend some money and change the battery or, or you can just deal with it and you'll be like, fine, take, I paid 50% lesser. So I'm going to just deal with it. I'll have to just charge my phone more, 
again and again. Or if it's a car, for instance, and it's, the, is, the mileage is horrible, instead of giving you 20 kilometers per, uh, per liter, it is giving you 10 kilometers per liter. But you're like, okay, I paid only 50% for a 10 lakh rupees car, I go for four and a half lakh rupees, five lakh rupees. And these are the things I have to deal with. But for a 10 lakh rupees car that costs on MRP, you are paying 7 lakh rupees and getting a 10 kilometer per liter average. That is just stupid. And the work can come up. Something wrong with the engine, something wrong with the tires, something wrong with with the seats, interior, something wrong with the physical body or something. And you don't even know. The body can be rusting from inside and you won't even come to know about it. But at the end of the day, this is what I say. We should all create this huge group, a network, and stop buying secondhand products till we get a fair value for it. And everybody starts adhering to that fair value, which means that the moment the product is out of the showroom, the price of that product should literally be 50% of the MRP. I'm, I'm actually out in the market to buy a GoPro, right? Uh, I want to buy the GoPro 11. And I was just looking at these uh, secondhand websites that we have in India here. And uh, so the GoPro 11 on Amazon, currently I was getting it for 26,000 rupees. And on that site, I can see a person selling a GoPro 11, second hand, nine months old for 27,000 rupees. What sense does that make? Come on, hello. Another person is selling the GoPro 11 for 33,000 rupees. He used it for one month, but it still doesn't justify it. Literally, I think 15,000 rupees is a fair price for it. Not, not a single penny more than that. But it is what it is. So, what do we understand from this? All of us stop paying stupid amounts and stop acting like stupid people and stop buying all these secondhand products for ridiculously expensive amounts. There will be a change in the market. People will have to start reducing their prices. You will start getting fair deals for them. What will happen in, in return is that when people start buying more secondhand products because they're getting good value, the new product prices will have to come down and this will benefit everybody in the market. So let's do this. Let's not give stupid, stupid prices, stupid um, prices for these secondhand products. Let's make sure that when we are buying a secondhand product, we're not paying more than 50% of the actual value. I'm currently in the market to buy a GoPro Hero 10. And what do I say, man? Uh, actually, I'm in the market to buy a GoPro Hero 11. And what the fuck is going on? I'm so fucking conscious about people around me and all that. So stupid. Don't buy anything secondhand from the market. It's horrible. You shouldn't be buying anything secondhand in the market.